Hello everyone, welcome back to our state of origin competition between the VIX, the Western Australians, the South Australians and the Allies on AFL 23. Now in the first game, we played South Australia, we got the dub. South Australia, uh, sorry, WA played the Allies, WA got the dub. Now it's South Australia versus WA, which is an interesting match because if South Australia win it, which they do win this, it gets them back into contention because the final will only be between the top two teams, of course. Now at the moment, it is Victoria, one win, no losses. South Australia, one win, one loss. WA, one win, one loss. And the Allies, one win, no wins, sorry, and a loss. But they are playing us. So, massive game here. If the Vix win, you secure a finals position. If the Vix lose, we have to win our last game to make the grand final. So let's see how we go. Everything's the same. Allies, Victoria. Now, I also want to point out this game is at uh, Mount Barker, the Adelaide Hills, for some strange reason, because it shouldn't be. It should be probably at the Gabba or at the SCG because it's an Allies home game. Uh, but they just added this stadium in to the game. So maybe that's why it's glitched. And that's why we have ended up playing over here. We've got the alternate clash kit on today for the Big V as we come out to warm reception. The Allies have quite an elite team. You can obviously see the two big fellas in the middle there, Darcy and Witsy. Uh, what do we got? The call of heads. Now, there should be a wind indicator on the ground. The wind is sort of not really going anywhere. It's sort of going to the top of screen, so it's a bit irrelevant as to which way we go. We'll kick to the right of screen. And the breeze is sort of blowing away to that uh, top portion of your, of your screen there. But it is State of Origin 2. It's Gorn, Dangerfield, Petrarca. And who's the other male be in the middle there? Not too sure, actually. Nick Dacos comes out, meets it. A ball up. Now, if you're unaware of who the Allies makes up, it makes up pretty much every other state that isn't Victoria, South Australia, or uh, WA. Because obviously that's where a lot of the football talent comes from, as this is pumped through for a goal. Not sure who it was, but they're up and about here. It's Tex. Big Taylor Walker. Of course, their state of origin is their roots. It's not where they play, it's their roots. It's not, uh, obviously, the club they play for. You could play for a Queensland club, but you could be a Victorian. You see? Oh, that's holding the pill umpire. Gee, that had to be a free kick. In the end, Darcy Moore versus Tex Walker. It's hit the post. Towards half forward. Good mark, Jessa Cameron. Now, he's a long way out, but I reckon we can have a ping here. And I've kind of worked out the set shots now because you can, and as we see his stats here in this particular season. So we just go full ball for the first one. That's what we do. And then if we wanted to curve left, we hit it early. If we wanted to go right, we hit it late. Like we did there. And then Toby picks the, the mark up anyway. So that's how it works. Is obviously the, uh, the side of the blue you get it on. At least that's the way I think it works is which way it's gonna curve. So if I hit this after the blue, then it curves more? Or would it curve less? I'm not too sure, that's my 200th goal on Steam apparently. Toby Green puts through the first for the big V. Just make myself marginally smaller here. So you can see a bit easier. Oh, that's not a great kick because it's possibly intercepted. Charlie Cameron on the left though, not sure who it was, but they've put it through. Oh, it's Errol, Errol Goulden. Tap from Darcy, ends up with Butters, lines him up, and he puts it through. Jeez, that is clinical out of the guts from the Vix. Who gets it can have a bounce and he can go with a short drilling ball to Butters, who sees a man over the top, and he finds Jezza Cameron. Hasn't kicked a goal today, and he sprayed that to the left, to the right. Again, I'm really not too sure how this works. He can go short as well. Inside to Jezza Cameron again. He can't take the mark. Danger feels lurking, but we'll get a siren. 2 2 14 a piece at quarter time. Not sure who this is, because they don't have a real head. Gorn in the middle. LDU in there as well. And he wins the clearance. Goes short. Gets it to Butters. Butters handball off to Penderbury. Penderbury can steam into the open goal as he put it through. Yes. Clinical. Clinical from the Vix. I mean, it's, it's a bizarre scheduling this game because really it's got no fans from either of these two teams. Panderbury run down from behind. 
And now they're away. Charlie Cameron can run inside 50. He's got no one going near him. And he can run through and put one for the Vicks. Not the Vicks, the Allies. Bloody hell, it's a bit of a mess. Where's the motorbike, Charlie? Handball got out of there from Mills. Big tackle pressure. Finlayson fed out the handball wide. Might have been towards Howe, who goes inside the forward 50. And Wiedering is outmarked. Not sure by who. And the Allies, just easy as you like again, run through and kick another. So free-flowing to start the second term. Out of the middle again, it is Tom Green to Blakey. Inside 50. Hawkins couldn't take the mark. Handball off. Is this Tom Green again? It might be, or is it Mills? I think it's Mills who puts it through. So three in a row for the Allies. Tom Green comes from the ground after having a couple of really good set of bounce clearances. And the Allies are away again. A few handballs here. Left, right, good night. Hawkins. So Tomahawk had a few marks today. A couple shots at goal. Hasn't kicked one just yet. And he puts this one through. So it's an 18-point Allies lead in the second term. Oh, not a great kick. Pressure on. Mills. Ball spills to Goulden. He's kicked his third. Jeez, Errol Goulden is just playing without a man, and he's arrow straight. Oh, Pendlebury stole it and pumped it through. From the kick in. What were they doing? Teammate to go. He gets over to him. He's missed a few. Dangerfield doing the kicking in duties. Oh, that's a shit kick to Petrarca. His kick was quite terrible as well. And then he tried to win the footy back. Davies Uniac. Now the ball spills out. Is it Golden once more? I don't think so. But it's a goal. And the Allies have kicked seven on the trot. This is Luke Bruce. Oh, Dacos left his man. Allowed Golden to find the target inside 50, which is Cameron. And he can go short back towards Golden. Siren sounds. Thankfully for the VIX, in a dominant term for the Allies. So it's a string of five goals there for the Allies and a six goal to two term, which sees them take a nice handy lead into the main break. He just gets a shoe onto it somehow. Dugowie in the chase here with May. Dugowie runs him down. May gets away with it. Sarong put the chase on. Dacos again outmarked. Finlayson on the opposite wing gives a handball off. Lining up for the Allies again. They'll get another one. Didn't get it. Again inside 50, Hawkins. This time fisted away from him by Wienering. And again, a snap out of the pack. Another one. It is a smashing at the moment. Finlayson, he kicks his first. And he's probably got the three votes at the moment if the game was to end. He can send a high footy. Inside 50, Dusty. Oh, I couldn't take the mark. But he spills at the fall of the ball on the right boot. He's got it. Has Dustin Martin just potentially turned the game slightly back in the Vicks' favour? It's still a huge margin to come back from. It is 32 points. But as we know in this game, if you get a bit of a momentum, because momentum is OP, you can get a bit of a run on. Oh my God, they are out everywhere here. 19 gone. Danger blasts it out of there. Dugowie. And this is exactly how we score the last goal. Long ball inside 50. Dustin Martin takes it. For the Vicks. And he squeezes it in. Dusty's got a couple. Is that the matchup? But in all honesty, the only reason we've actually had it is because they've been uh, bad in front of goal and we've been able to get the, the intercepts or the kick-ins. Here's Sean Darcy, the big fella. He's got it. The VIX with three quickly. Now, I actually saw someone in the last video said, you changed the difficulty. Well, guess what, young lad? You can't change the difficulty mid-game. It doesn't work. Anyway, Hawkins... We'll line up just to, just to stem the flow of the VIX. And he's put it straight through the middle. Margin back at the 27. Let's see what Jeremy Cameron has in store. 45 out. Slide angle. Right on three-quarter time. He's pulled it. Did the siren put him off? Perhaps. 
Anyway, margin is 25 po 26 points at the three-quarter time break. There's Harris Andrews looking fairly content. Dusty looking disappointed. So three-quarter time, it is the Allies with a 26-point lead over the VIX, uh, which is four and a bit goals. Can we somehow claw our way back? Otherwise, this season is wide open for the taking as to who will make the state of origin granny. It'll all be determined here. Gorn in the middle. Bruce gets it out. Out wide to Blakey. Inside 50. Weedering gets the fist in there. Nick Dacos charging through. He put the tackle pressure on. As did Tom Stewart. They've still got numbers everywhere, the Allies. And they can line up and kick the first of the last. Gorn again towards Pendlebury. He didn't win it. It's the Allies. Go short inside 50. Cameron of the Charlie variety. And this, I mean, the game looks about done. This is Jeremy Cameron. It's the wrong Cameron. How has the game picked the wrong Cameron? I'm shook to the core, everyone. Anyway, Charlie Cameron kicks the goal. Bizarre scenes on the scoreboard. We have options everywhere here. Butters, Sarong, where are the VIX? High footy, dusty, one-on-one. -on -one. Didn't mark it. Butters spins around one, puts it on the boot, kicks a goal. That was elite. But it's too little too late, I think. Oh, his kick is short and shocking. Can he get it back? It's Kerno. It's a goal. Margin is 25. But I think, again, it is just too far of a stretch. Gorn, Dugowie, out of the middle, Darcy. Can he kick it? Yes, he can. <laughs> they couldn't, could they? Oh, the bond. Spam it. Oh, my God. <laughs> and there's the siren. It's an 18-point win to the Allies in the end. Over the big V. A convincing win for a team on paper. That does not look as strong. But that midfield did a number on the VIX. And even a three goal to two final term was not enough to see Victoria come back into it. As we take a look at the leading goal kickers, Errol Goulden had three. Dusty, Cameron, Darcy, Hawkins, Pendlebury and Butters to a piece. Hopper, Finlayson, Mills, Green, Kerno, Weller, Walker and Bruce with one each. And the leading ball is on the ground. We said Jeremy Finlayson had a stack of it, as did Callum Mills. Bruce played through the midfield as well. He did a nice job. To go for the Vicks was the leading ball winner, along with Sean Darcy and Paddy Dangerfield. But at the end of the day, it was the Allies winning against the Vicks by 18 points. So this is what we've got leading into the final round of games. The Vicks are on top of the ladder, but it does not matter because this is what's going to happen is the Vicks will play WA... The winner will get through to the final. The Allies will play South Australia. The winner of that game will go through the final. Obviously, if there's a draw in there, that really changes things a little bit. Um, but for the most part, bearing any draws, whoever wins the last two matchups will go through to the final. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you have been enjoying this State of Origin series. And uh, we'll get through one more game and then the final, and that'll be it. A nice little four-video series for the, uh, the Victorian side. But that's it. Have a good one and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.